Sophomore forward Rachel Hill scored her 10th and 11th goal in the season as UConn falls to 5th ranked Florida State University on Thursday night. And although this wasn't the result UConn was looking for, the Huskies played well, scoring early and keeping the pressure on Florida's defense in the first half. Today I thought we did well, there was no question. There was two misfortunes in the game that, you know, that caused us the goals. Uh, there was not, you know, it was back and forth. We fought really hard. We defended most of the game really well. Uh, those things is very tough to defend sometimes. The big thing was we could play with a team like this for both halves. We did well. They're a, a top 10 team. Um, they're a good team. It was not a big difference between the two teams. Yeah, I think it definitely showed us like what we're capable of. And I mean, they did a good job at the end stretching us out. But I think we realized who we can compete with now and we'll move forward. Yeah, they're all, all the defenders are young. They're, they they haven't played there. It's the first year they play. Even Charno, that is a senior, so you always play defensive mid. Um, they're doing very well for now. But we've been working on clearing the ball and things like that. The things that you got to do in the a, in a heat of the moment and do it well. We just need to keep our speed of play up. I think we realize now that we can play with a high speed, and I think if we go at Brown like we did first half today, that I think we'll be fine. The Huskies return to action right here at Joseph J. Maroney Stadium on Sunday afternoon as they take on Brown University. For Huskies All Access, I'm Ben Piasek.